For this episode, our esteemed guest is Kofi from the planet Dioritika in the Gestalt Nebula, where fluid can become fixed and fixed can become fluid. He's an empathic engineer who creates and destroys using empathy. So roll up your towel into a pillow, lean back, and prepare to take a trip inside our minds and learn what it's like to feel like we do. Shut up and sit down. Oh, another lovely welcome to Millie Ways, uh, the restaurant theater of the universe for the Hitchhikers and Appetizers podcast. I am, of course, Horatio Zinn, and with me, as always, is my better half, Trellis Gardine, and we are coming to you from the lofty perch of Booth 42. Yes, it's, it's, it's got, we have quite a view, and part of the view includes our guest for this episode. Please tell us who you are. I am Kofi from the planet Diuretica. Diuretica, I, I have to make note of that. Yes, it's uh, you can call it Dio if you like. Dio. Well, there we go. I understand. I like I like the economy of your name. It's very short. It doesn't waste any vowels or consonants. I like that in a name. Yes. Well, where I am from, we like to keep things simple so that they can become complex. Uh, very good. Sort of a, uh, makes me think of a fractal culture where you take little things and put them together for really making things complicated. It just depends. We see the binaries in a number of things. I, you, you look like entities who enjoy a good graph, uh, axes for understanding. This is what I'm picking up from you. I, I am certainly, I could certainly look at one. I enjoy a well done pie chart. And pie. I like pie. If you can imagine a three-dimensional representation with axes along the x-axis is on one side introspection and the other side extrospection. Extrospection. Yes, of course. So the uh, looking inside versus looking outside. Uh, if you if you look along the y-axis, you have uh, integration on one side and dissociation on the other side. And then you look along the Z axes, where Z becomes a variable defined by any any binary that you can come up with uh, relative to where you're from. Then you would have a sense of the reality where I am from in Diuretica. I am wondering if I am going to be able to follow this. <laughs> That's... Uh, I didn't realize I might have so many axes. I feel uh, like I may have to lean back on the booth here because we're going to really be going deep in this episode. I should put on a safety belt of some sort so I don't fall off the booth. In your recognition of the depth that is possible, you can also see the simplicity of confusion as we have now. Yes, I, I believe most of my confusion comes from the fact that I'm simple. I'm often confused by the menu here. and I suggest the Salisbury steak with gravy. Ooh. Always, always a fine choice. Or as an alternative, you may have the water with a slice of lemon. That's simple and binary. Between the water and the lemon, very simple. Uh, and the Salisbury steak, complicated. That's it. Especially if you have onions and things like that. Uh, caramelized, that caramelized, just raw onions would not be so complex. Mmm. Very well spoken for a, a self-proclaimed simple entity. Wisdom can come from simpleness, but generally not intentionally. I feel you now. Uh, I, I, I am being felt, and it's, it's quite an experience. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I should have, I should have asked for consent. Uh, I'm an empathic engineer, and so. Oh, I'm certainly a bit tactile in that way. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm tactile in both a literal uh, sense and also a psychological sense, so it is the way of me and my people to engage in this way, so. Is everybody on your planet an empathic engineer? We are empathic, and we come from the, maybe you've heard of the Gestalt uh, Nebula. Oh, yes, of course, yes. So it is, a, it is a nebula where fluid can become fixed and fixed can become fluid. And so uh, everyone is empathic to some degree, just function within the empathy then depends 
uh, from entity to entity. I am an engineer, and so I create and destroy through empathy. Oh, that, what a beautiful thing. That's very interesting. What Can you give me an example of something you've destroyed through empathy? An enemy? Any enemies? Enemies are friends, and friends are enemies. It's, um... Ooh, possibly two different parts of the axes. Is that what you're saying? Ooh, ooh. Well, where we are from, there's a, the continuums uh, go on into infinity until they meet into the unseen. And so friends become enemies, enemies become friends, fluid becomes fixed, fixed becomes fluid. Mm. Whatever become like a frozen form. Between there's fluid, there would be a solid, an ether, gas perhaps. Oh, you're talking about simple pedestrian physics. Yes, as simple as possible, yes. The changing phase, yes. Yes, we find simple physics to be adorable. Much like Horatio, he is an adorable figure. I am adorable, and, and I've been told I'm cuddly also. I can feel that you are cuddly. Oh, I can feel I'm being cuddled. Yes, you are receiving Kofi. Oh, little little Kofi snuggle. Yes. A little Kofi snuggle. Very nice. Yes. Oh. And now we are integrated. Very nice. I am using empathy right now to take your confusion about what to order and to give you clarity through infinite choices down to myriad choices down to what will you have? Oh, I believe all I know is it's going to be in a cube form. Like perhaps a sandwich, but that's been broken down into a cube form so it's less complex and easier to eat. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I did that in retrospect. I thanked you in retrospect. Normally, that decision weighs him down for hours. Yeah. Because he, he is from Schenecticus. They take forever to make decisions about anything. And in the end, they're almost always the wrong decision. Yes. That's part of the reason we take so long, because we know of the inevitability of that. I understand. In the grand scheme of manufactured time, taking long and being quite quicker, if you'd like to differentiate that, that's quite all right. Do you ever differentiate something? Is this... For fun, do as this is professional, uh, empathic engineer, correct? Uh, are you charging us, by the way? Probably not charging you in a way that you would associate with being charged, but there is a cost that you're paying, even as we sit here. Okay. I think over time we will determine if mm. knowing the cost is something that will be beneficial to you. So you don't. So you don't post your rates, is what you're saying. Ah, well, the rates are fluid. Y you will know the cost if it uh, gives you some type of psychological or emotional benefit. If it causes you distress to know the cost, then we will part without you knowing what you have paid. That, that makes good sense. That's good business sense there. And, and with all your talk about the fluidity of things, uh, that works well for me because my planet, all of our currency is actually liquid currency. So that sounds like it's perfect. Sure, that's that would be that would be right up my alley. I'm sorry, I, Horatio, I'm. Yes. I'm. I, I, Are you integrating? Are we integrating? I'm still I'm still stuck in Horatio, and I. It's easy to get mired in me. It's sticky in there. I feel like I've. I hate to I hate to put a definitive label on anything, but I'm I feel like I'm empathing. What is this? It, 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 is it laziness? Most likely, yes. I was trying to integrate trellis, but I'm I'm stuck in a. I can only describe this as laziness or ennui or a. There seems to be an absence of inspiration in here. Yes, you you have pegged exactly. It seems to be the. I think I have found the opposite of engineering. This is neither constructive nor destructive. It is it is a taste of stasis I've never experienced before in my existence. Is it delicious? I don't know. This state of stasis, there is a nothingness here that is so nothing that it is itself something. I never realized, Horatio, that I, I mean, I knew your planet and the physical things on there were badly planned. I had no idea that internally you were just as poorly planned. Yes, I, I think it's from the great, well, we would call it great creator, but the great meandering creator, the, the inconsistent creator. We have many names we have not agreed on. But we assumed it was, we were just kind of slapped together. As I sit inside of this stasis, it, I can't imagine there's anything resembling planning that transpires where you're from. There could be no planning in, in this state. There is just nothingness. There's there is dawdling. There is... Yes. What is this feeling? I... Uh, there's a, a bit being comfortable in, in inadequacy. Do you feel that? Possibly comfortably numb. Comfortably numb. 
it could be. Before, just moments ago, I, I had a I had a desire to empath trellis, but I've found myself no longer yeah. caring it's, 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 to. Are you trapped? The trap has been set. They trapped in uh, trapped in me, and, and uh, obviously, I I I uh, I am much more influential than I thought. It is an absolute yes. absence. It is a void of ambition. It is a void of wanting. It is it is a type of satisfaction that goes beyond complacency. I yes. I've never lived. I would call it a bit of almost stupid satisfaction. Oh, that's what I feel. And it, not, that is not an insult on my planet. Stupid satisfaction. We, it's something we, we, if we work toward anything, that would be something we would work to attain. How would your planet react to uh, Horatio if he were to go there? It's similar to what you're sensing right now? It's as if the stasis inside of Horatio has paralyzed my capacity to project the reasoning or the, the logic from, from my planet anywhere else. I, I know that where I am from, we accept that which is, and this is what is, and we let go of what could be, because what here is, is what matter, and so I can still choose, I still have a choice, I have a choice, Trellis, I can, I can come to you, but it, it is without any sense of purpose or ambition, it is as if my engineering skills have been stripped away. Diminished. I think I broke it. I'm not sure, but I think I broke it. This is, well, now, now I, I have, it's like I have two Horatios in the booth with me now. Oh, yes. Oh, no, he just, don't, just watch out for the, the weight gain. I feel myself coming to you. I... Push yourself. No, now I, now I, now I feel, yes. Push yourself, Kofi, push. Yes, I, I feel now Horatio inside of me. Oh. Ah. I'm in you, you're in me. I'm in you, you're in me. Oh, oh yes. I'm just going to work on these potato skins. I'd like some waffles. I would like, I would like waffles. A little bit, oh, much, much sauce. Oh, much sauce. Back up the truck of sauce to the table. Yes, yes, we need more sauce here, yes. Oh, this is disconcerting. <laughs> Has this ever happened? What a feeling this is. This is a... I, I understand what meandering is now. Do you feel like a saunter? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, that's exactly what I feel like. I exactly... I feel like a saunter. It is just saunter, just wandering aimlessly. Aimlessly, loping. I feel like if, if there was movement in my mind, one might describe it as loping. It's low loping, low loping. Low loping. Loping is Horatio's favorite form of exercise. Yes. One of my favorite terms is, oh, what's the name for that? Oh, I'll look it up later. Oh, yes. What is the name for that? Oh, we'll, we'll check it another time. Where I am from, we, we often change phase like this, but this is the most unfamiliar change of phase I've ever experienced. When we experience unfamiliar change of phase where I'm from, we call that a John Bon Jovi. No! Oh my. I've just experienced a John Bon Jovi. Is there a Bon Jovi access? You went over the X, Y, and Z. No, Bon Jovi, of course, is a discovery. It's a consequence. Ah, it's oh. a consequence of the harmony of the three axes once integration has been complete. Ah. You're in complete symbiotic relationship now. Yes, I am. I heard that. I heard my soul cry out to him. The longing. Nor normally, I think that's that's Horatio's stomach because he's hungry. But you already made the choice for food, so I, it's a yearning. Yes, yes, I think it is a yearning. Trellis, do you feel outnumbered? Oh, absolutely. I feel completely outnumbered, and I feel a little shorted. I feel like I'm not getting my my integration and. Uh, let me just make a choice, a, a uninspired choice, through what remaining sense of obligation I have in my engineering sensibility. And Horatio, if you don't mind, I will attempt to step out of you right now and engineer an exit. I, I know not what remnants of me will be left behind. Perhaps you could just trip and fall out of him. That would probably be the easiest way. It's lazy and inadvertent. I will. I know, I'll try blowing my nose. I will try to leave this. It's sort of like flying, throwing yourself at the ground and missing. Oh, I, I feel, oh. Uh, uh, oh, my. 
Oh, my. That looked exhausting. Oh, God. I need to smoke something. This was quite curious. Are you okay, Kofi? Or are you, are you actually Kofi now? No, I am. I am Kofi. Kofi. Hi. Are you, are you feeling your ambition uh, returning, your focus? I, f- I feel a, a residue of you that has gone with me. I... Perhaps that will help you relax sometime if you're feeling a bit hyper. If you have residue from me, you should be able to sleep very easily. And save that for uh, later in case you want to report this to the, the encounter to the, to the authorities. Evidence is always very important. I see no harm that can come of this, but Trellis, I'm, I'm focused on you now. Ooh, oh, oh, this is exciting. I'm focused on you. Uh... What are you sensing? What are you getting? I'm, I'm getting curiosity. Oh, ooh. are you are you curious about that, Trellis? I was I was curious as to what he was feeling. So well, there uh, you go. Spot on. I feel a. Like... Ooh. 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 <sighs> oh, that one, that was disturbing. Hi. I feel, feel you. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, You're actually thinking up before my eyes. Uh, I feel curiosity. I should translate. I feel curiosity. Horatio. Oh, oh now. I know know how you felt. felt. Oh, this is, this is over, this is a bit disturbing. Oh, I am separating from my host. Mm. I am in my host. I am in trellis now. (sighs) Ah. Ooh. It is. I can feel the zen. I can also feel the zen. Oh. Oh, there is a magnificent... There is curiosity without caring here. Mm. It is a curiosity devoid of mm. of caring or empathy at all. That sounds like the trellis I know. Oh, it's a beautiful, simple curiosity, serving everything and nothing in one moment. Oh, it is curiosity for the sake of curiosity. I just often explore without asking questions. We will stumble into exploration. I understand what you are saying. I understand. Trellis is often known to open a door without having any intention of going in. Yeah. I like to take a peek. Yes. Peek, a peek of curiosity. Just a peek, a little something, not too much of anything. Yes. Simple. Yes, I can see why the two of you work now. I can see why you're sitting here. I understand this. It's nice to know that someone can uh, understand how this dynamic works. This is a first. It is. This is a first. Usually we just get perplexed looks. Yes, not that we've ever really sought understanding, but but sometimes it comes right to your door. It would be, of course, understandable, Horatio, why you would not seek understanding. Yes. Her complacency would seek nothing. No. But yet, but yet there is a, there's a curiosity about understanding here in Trellis, but... But there's no caring about understanding. It's just a pure curiosity, like understanding. What is that? Like a child. Like a child, isn't it? Like Like a child. Like a really immature child. Exactly, like an immature child who's just... I'm noticing a thousand things at once. But you don't really care about any of them. No. No, I don't care. I just... As well as just saying awkward things randomly out of context yes and without filter yes i I am in a world where there is no non sequitur oh Mm -hmm. what i want to know and this is purely based uh trellis has a hole in his tongue but i was curious if it said the there you go you're playing it that is beautiful well look at that now it's there to help with my salivary production and it helps me taste the food more are you tasting Mm. what i'm tasting Oh, yes, let's try a taste test. Yes, let's try. Close your eyes so that you, well, I don't want to bias you. All right. No, that's okay. I'm closing my eyes. We have a number of appetizers here on the table. Horatio, I'm going to close my eyes. You drop something into my hand so I don't know what it is. All right. Uh, thank, oh, is it there? Yes, it's there. I am putting it in my mouth now. What are you 
What, are you picking up what I'm putting down? I, b- I believe I am. Horatio. Yes. Would you count to three for us? And at the end of three, both Trellis and I will say exactly what it is that we're tasting. All right. Now, we're going to do this after three. Correct. One, two, three. Then you do it. Not on three. Right. Where I am from, there are millions of three countdowns that are still continuing because there is so much empathy that the counting never stops. Wars have begun Mm. because they started on the wrong. So let's start after one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. No. Popcorn shrimp. shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. That's exactly what it was. Popcorn shrimp. Hmm. It will come back at you later. It will pop in your intestine. Hmm. Now you're just tasting the corn. Oh, the the seasoning on this is it's it's quite disturbing. It's uneven. It's uneven. I'm not happy with this batch. Yes, nor am I. I oh, I have some stuck in my tongue. <laughs> I think I'm tasting yours. We, we are, are very, very integrated. integrated, right? You're moving in sync. Oh my! This is—I haven't seen this before. It's a dance that might be considered sexy on some planets. On some some planets with low standards, this would be one of the sexiest dances they've ever seen. In Diuretica, we call this vamping. Do you have vamping where you're from? What is vamping? That might help me answer that question. We may have it, but it's just named something else. It is a repetitive movement copied by one or more that is uh, never ending seemingly let me uh, uh, now that i've completed this uh, my john bon jovi transfiguration into you i feel us moving in a similar way with that we would call vamping yes i like this it's almost like both of us are leading and following at the same time yes which i'm which i'm curious about but i find myself not really caring you're each other's mirror image, but you're an apathetic mirror image. Yes. I am very much an in-the-moment person, so I don't think too deeply about things. Ah. Even though I'm curious in the moment. You're taking on the characteristics of the Gestalt Nebula. Ooh. Oh, well. We are in the moment so that all of the individual within the whole might present itself. Um, I'd like another bite of popcorn shrimp. Let me slide that over there. Here you are. And then here are the sauces. Mm. Horatio, you didn't put any sauce on these, did you? Oh, no, I didn't. That's why the flavor was uneven. Okay. We just had the dry rub, but there are sauces to try with them, Kofi. The sticky yellow substance. That is Montego mustard. It is a delicacy. Yes. Montego mustard. Let me taste. Mm. They have to grind up each Montego. Oh, I'm... Mm. Mm. I didn't realize this was a two-way street, but I'm getting some flavor, too. Try something, Trellis. You here, you, you take a bite of this. Oh, thank you. You take All a right. bite of this, and I want to see if the flavors combine or if, how that works. Mm. Mm. Half of my tongue has what I'm eating, and the other half is getting what uh, the popcorn shrimp. What did you give me, by the way? I didn't even see it. Is that a chipotle? It's a, a chipotle uh, chicken leg. Oh. Mmm. Mm. There's no bones. There's a mm. there's a, some delay on the spice there with it, but very good. I like this. Yes, the spice on there is set on a timer. I feel as if the spice has opened up a portal to caring. Oh. Mm. Oh, no, that was not intentional. I have, I, forgive me. Is this what caring feels like? Yes. Ah, oh, I feel dirty. Do you want something with a neutralizer? Horatio, I am all of a sudden concerned about your, your health. Yes, Horatio. Someone has to be. I, I don't like this feeling at all. This is, this is icky. It's, this is caring. This is, it's a form of empathy. Do I have to do this all the time? I, I don't know. I don't know what will be left. Let me just exit you. Okay. Uh, uh, oh my God. I'm sorry. Let me clean that up with my towel. Uh, it's a bit of a mess out of the table. Well, it's all right. This, I can't tell what sauce on the table now and what's. From that, my residue from the from from the John Bon Jovi. I have experienced now the truth of both of you. Mm. And survived to tell the tale. There is a taste of Montego mustard in my mouth. There is a taste of chipotle in my mouth. I am curious, and I and I have an absence of caring, which I can 
empathize with. I am. The residue is still there. There's a little bit of me left over, is what you're saying. And Horatio. Yes. Laziness and lack of caring. Does that make you a deity? There's some, because some deities have three people in one. Yes. No, no, no. I am. I'm just a contractor. I'm a. I'm an em- empathic engineer contractor. Actually, I have. Um, I have been contracted by Millie Way's restaurants to help empathically engineer a more welcome booth system here in the restaurant. Ooh. Ah. This was not. This was not a random occurrence, is it? I was commissioned. If I must be honest. Well, what you have done for me here, and by extension for Millie Ways, is you have provided me insight or introspection into the empathic experience of both of you. And in sensing the differences, the seemingly nonsensical union of two completely different minds at one table, you have given me empathic engineering insight into how to make all booths in the future for Millie Ways compatible. There can be no price tag put on this. Mm. I was going to see how much we should charge you. Yes, uh, maybe uh, th- maybe at least a, a buy one, get one for the appetizers. I don't know. No, that that, that makes perfect sense. Now, is this, ex- this sounded like a very deep experience. Is this something you might be able to write a book about that we could then get royalties from? One cannot empathize with a book. Uh, one can only uh, experience with other entities what there is to experience and then rub them up uh, and then experience. Oh, mm. I think we've rubbed off on you a bit. <laughs> Maybe. There will be no evidence that either of you have done anything, both of you inside me, and I shall engineer for Millie Ways uh, to the completion of my contract so that all who may enter in Millie Ways, no matter how disparate, will feel a sense of welcomeness in their disparateness. And it will all have been designed by you. Are we your first booth that you've talked to? You were the prototype that was Ah. pointed out by the, I think board of directors is something that you would understand. Mm. I just want to test the accuracy of the information that you have put. What's the ratio of cushy to support? That should be on the uh, the seat of, of the side of the booth that I'm in. Graph it if you need to. In terms of um, the disparate possibilities of personalities that may occupy the booth, the ratio would be variable and changing upon entry into the booth by the different entities. So what we have here is utter complacency and curiosity without caring. So the design of the booth will be meant to replicate this dynamic in all others who shall visit here. And so the size of my derriere does not work into that at all? No, the evidence of the bounty that the two of you have placed on your table just reeks of what they call good for business. Mm. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so the thinking is that if they can replicate the type of, can I say, I don't mean to cuss, but slothful? If it's terrible, we can edit that out. That's fine. We'll check. Yes. So entities may enter as they are, but when they sit on the booth, they will immediately take on the characteristics of each of you. Oh. So as they... It's almost like having children, but without having to actually do it. That's exactly right. And as they look at the menus, they will turn into complete, absolute, static apathy and curiosity with caring, and their mouths will just move and order more and more food. That's lovely. Now, it's going to make it a lot more difficult for the staff at Milliways to make uh, uh, patrons leave. And one thing that makes me worry about, that sounds like more pressure on the kitchen and a longer wait time for us to actually eat. You are only one side of the equation, Mm. and that is the demand side. And so uh, I have another pending contract the idea here, and I probably should not be telling you this. Tell away then. <clears throat> what I am doing is I am empathically engineering an increased demand, an increased demand for food here at the Milliways. The, the two of you are examples of the optimal duos to be sitting in booths where increasing demand is concerned. If you look at the other tables in here, you have 10 times the bounty on your table. Mm. Yes. We do, we do. Then it, any other table. And so, and so, if you don't mind, I will go ahead and 
I'll pick this up. Uh, this one's on me. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. That, that means we have another one that can be. Yes. Uh, oh, we, we should be able. Yes. I, I, I was thinking economically. I will let management know that you have cooperated, um, or that's what we'll call this at this point. Yes. <laughs> this is the closest to cooperation you can find. And perhaps I will see you both at another time. I believe it's time to submit the entry. I'm exhausted. Uh, let me just open up the guide. And uh, your plans, uh, short was Dio, what, but let me, want to, I do want to put the full name of it. It was Dio... Ratika. Dio Ratika, okay. Typing that in. I, now that you've been inside me, I had an easier time pronouncing that. Yes, that's how it works. You will find that over time that I have left pieces of myself inside of you. Oh. And the, and those pieces may present themselves oh. at moments unlooked for. Can you give us a hint as to what those pieces might do? Well, they will probably be flavored like empathic engineering. Oh, we will know. I will know. Suddenly I get a bit of that that sensory feeling of, hmm, what is that? That's really, and, and they won't know what it is and then it'll pass, but it will have been you. Just when these sensibilities visit, I encourage you. Use your empathic engineering for good and not for evil. That's the entry. Dio Ratika, empathic engineering. Use it for good, not evil. I'm submitting that right now before I forget. Yes. I think I've, I've actually considered getting a tattoo uh, to remember this experience. It just says, I'm in you, you're in me. And Kofi, I appreciate you stopping by so much, Kofi, because normally we're gathering information for our guide entry, but it's in this case, we have been contributing to your work, so I've, I feel like I've actually uh, given back, despite my normal lack of caring. Yes, it, it accidentally giving back. And in your contributing to my work, you have also gathered information far beyond what you even know in this moment. Ooh, this could come back to haunt us. How intriguing. I can't wait. Thank you for joining us for Hitchhikers and Appetizers. And of course, special thanks goes to our guest, Kofi. I have been Trellis Gardeen. And I continue to be Horatio Zen. Until next time, keep your towels clean. And if you wake up and find yourself at the controls of an unfamiliar ship on a collision course with a supernova, it really doesn't matter which button you press. So don't panic. Everything you heard in this episode was improvised, but not everything improvised was heard. This episode of Hitchhikers and Appetizers featured the voice talents of Mike Gorgone as Trellis Gardine, Rand Peacock as Horatio Zen, and Joe Bill as Kofi. Finally, Hitchhikers and Appetizers is part of the Improv in Action Network. Check out other great improvised podcasts and projects at improvinaction.com. If you'd like to reach out to Trellis or Horatio, you can send electronic messages to them at our galaxy address, hitchappspodcast at gmail.com. Or you can find them on Twitter with the handle hitchapps. Shut up and sit down.